Welcome back. I'm joined by Championship correspondent Pascal the Mayor to review Friday's clash between Fulham and Brentford. Pascal, start with the away side, dropped out of the playoffs last time out for Jury and struggling Millwall. Yeah, massively disappointing that result for them. You know, especially, you know, Millwall, one of the sides right down there in the bottom three, down in 23rd. You, you'd really expect them to win that, and given that it, obviously that they're so close to the playoff race at the moment, it was just such a disappointing result. But in the end, you know, a draw was a good result. The way the game went, they fell 2 0 down and then scored twice late on to, yeah. you know, nick a point. But even so, still dropped them down uh, below Ipswich in the table because Ipswich, you know, pulled off that surprise result at, at Watford. So, you know, they did drop out of top uh, top six, but they're, st they're still massively close. Like they're, they're only one point behind Ipswich, but the problem is Wolves are now really close to Brentford. They're only one point behind them. So, Wolves, you know, really hot on their heels. And you, know, you look at Brentford recently, you know, it's a pretty good form of late. You know, lost, win, draw in their last three games, but, you know, they're certainly, they've got a big Easter, win, Easter weekend coming up here. You know, they go to Fulham here, which is a West Lion derby, you know, a big game for both sets of supporters. And then on Easter Monday, they, got, they get a visit from Forrest, who, you know, of late in the last sort of, two months or so, they've been one of the best sides under Doogie Freeman. So, Brentford, you know, I think Mark Warburton here, he de he'll definitely say maybe four points in these two games, and maybe even six because the Forest game is at home. So, they'll definitely fancy get themselves against Fulham here, one of the sides, you know, struggling down near the bottom. So, Brentford, you know, like I said, one win in four is, isn't quite the form they need to, you know, get into the top six because it's so close up there. If any of the sides, you know, start struggling, they're going to drop out easily because a lot of the others are in great form. So, at the moment, Brentford, they still look okay and they ha do have one of the best run-ins out of any of the sides. So, they still look okay, I think, for a playoff place. You mentioned Fulham struggling down there, but they are eight points clear of the bottom three now. Yeah, that was because they beat Huddersfield 2-0 in their last game and that was just a hugely important win for them. Like I say, moving eight points clear of the bottom three. If they'd lost that game, it would have only been five points and with the way Wigan, they're sort of improving slightly. They would have been level on points with Rotherham in sort of 19th and 20th, but as it stands, you know, they, they do look okay at the moment, but yeah, that game against Huddersfield was a really weird one. They, but they won it 2-0. The second goal came late on on the break when Huddersfield were just pushing for an equaliser, but um, after the game, you know, Kit Simon's completely admitted that, you know, we didn't deserve to win that game at all. Uh, Huddersfield missed two penalties, one of them saved, one of them hit the post. They created a lot more chances than Fulham, but Fulham just a good smash and grab win in the end, you know, for their second win in 14 games. So, it just shows how poorly they have poor their form has been recently and but like I say it, eight points is quite a big gap and unless they go on a really bad run in the last sort of few games of the season it'd be hard to see them getting dragged right down into it so and they've got new players come in as well they've signed a few loan players you know because the loan window cl uh, cl closed last week so they've brought in new players Danny Guthrie James Husband two of them are decent players they lost Amor Bieta he, he went to Middlesbrough but he wasn't a regular player for them and I think Husband might be able to do a bit more for them Guthrie Sort of lost his way a bit the last few years at Reading. You know, he had that sort of breakout into the Premier League when his time at Newcastle, but it didn't quite work out for him. But I think he's a quite technically gifted player. He can score good goals, good at set pieces as well. So he could certainly add something. But this is a really tough game for him against the Brentford side who have surpassed all expectations this season. Like I say, it's a big game for the fans. Brentford are into his favourites. Do you think they will win it, Brentford? Uh, I think I'm just going to side with Brentford. Yeah, Fulham, they're, they're forming against Brentford at home recently. It hasn't been great. They haven't beaten them in their last four games uh, at Craven Cottage. So I'm just going to back Brentford to win this 2 1. Sports on Brentford 2 1, Brentford win.